Am I on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi, it's Anthony Harry. I'm going to do a quick uh, review because a couple people have asked me about it. Uh, a while ago, I invested in the uh, Yee Nova 19U tablet monitor, which is this piece of equipment right here. And uh, I've had a couple peers ask me to give my feedback on what I think of the product. So uh, right out of the bat, I'll just tell you that it's worth every penny. I paid $500 on Amazon, well, $500 plus tax on Amazon. Um, I did have to make an extra investment because I have a Mac, so I had to get a, uh, a, um, a the video cable. I had to get an adapter for that. I forget what it's called, but it, Amazon actually knows you need it, so if you're a Mac user, it'll actually offer it to you. Um, but that wasn't that much. That was like 30 bucks. And uh, so I guess some easy comparison. There's a lot of technical reviews out there that you can read. Uh, you can find information on, you know, how does this compare to the Cintiq and what's the pressure sensitivity difference. And I'll just be up front. I've never used a Cintiq. So um, also, hey, thanks for putting up with the, uh, you're in my studio right now. That's why it's messy. And I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm comfortable, but you also hear my birds in the background and my furnace running, because if you're watching this video, we're in the dead of winter. But uh, really quick, the uh, I love using this specifically with uh, Manga Studio 5. I use it with Photoshop, and if I'm doing feathering, you know, if I really need to get that tapered look on the pen line, it's not as consistent. But when I'm using... Uh, using this with Manga Studio, I get a nice, uh, I get a nice smooth line. The ink, the Manga Studio just has a better ink brush setting. So I'm going to give you an example visually of how it looks. I, I always think that that's just easier. I mean, everybody does like these types of things. You can see in the video that it. Ooh, look at the. And that is cool. That's nice, right? But um, it, it's not what we do. As comic book illustrators, we don't sit there and draw stinging circles or whatever. So um, this right here is an example of a page that I'm working on. Let me, uh, let me actually erase this because that's garbage. But if uh, you wanted to see... I mean, this is like, for example, this face here. Uh, hold on. There we go. 100%. So you can see all the detail that went into it. And it's it's just great. You know, I usually draw with my pen kind of large so I can, you know, switch between doing details and everything. And it gives you a real kind of a almost a fake brush sort of thing going on. And if we go down here, I'm drawing this. Currently, he's being thrown into a wall. And I um, wanted to erase this, actually. I don't like what I did there. The nice thing about the combination, I'm on a MacBook Pro with Mega Studio 5 and then this tool is it runs really light. I don't get a lot of lag time and that's nice. Uh, literally my only major complaint is if I go back to this page I can show you um, if I go really slow with the line oh now it's not really doing it so that's cool. Oh maybe it was just me but sometimes when you're really close it'll jitter so you end up getting like, you know, the squiggly line thing going on. It's not doing it now, which is kind of funny. But so, but if you if you move smooth, you know, you can get a nice, nice line in there. Come down. You know, maybe you're drawing an eyeball. And everything's really smooth. It's really nice. I like the pressure sensitivity. Uh, the settings let me make it 
uh, as responsive as I want it to be. I have it kind of midway because um, I naturally press uh, sort of hard, so I don't want it to just automatically go that big. Um, I like the fact that even though my circle is set that big, I can still draw, you know, nice small lines. So the uh, pen tool is nice. My only major complaint, like I was saying, is that this pen tool uh, actually runs with a single AAA battery inside there. It doesn't really add a lot of weight to it. It's not too much different in weight than a Wacom pen. I've, I've had this uh, for quite some time now and I've only had to change the battery once. Um, so they last a good long time. I put a lot of hours in on it. But I just kind of wish that it, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't battery operated. But uh, the nib on this I've never changed it. it the, the box, the ordering it, it came with some replacement nibs. But this is a smooth glass screen. I mean, I, I don't know what, I don't even think, I mean, looking at it, it doesn't look like there's any wear and tear in the nib. And I don't know how it would get any, because unlike, you know, the Cintiq has sort of a texture to a screen. This is, this is glass. It's, um, there's no buttons to get in the way. It's just, it's purely a surface. Uh, to draw on, which is nice. It uh, oh the other the other slight complaint that I have, and it's really you're gonna get this with any monitor to monitor situation, I believe. But the color quality is just not the same from uh, this monitor compared to my Mac monitor. My Mac monitor has a higher density of color, so when I'm doing coloring on here, I always keep my palette open on my Mac monitor so I can know I'm selecting the right color and just kind of go with my instincts but there's just a slight color or discoloration on this screen um, but really I didn't get this for coloring I can color on any machine you know with a mouse or with a tablet I got this for line work and for line work is I've been I've been superbly happy with it from the very beginning um, the only, I mean, I guess the only other thing I can think of, I can show you, uh, the back of it sets up real nice. It's, uh, this is metal. Pull this lever up and this slides up and down. It's real sturdy. You know, the cords plug in here in the back. It's, uh, it doesn't get hot. And, um, I don't know. So this is the, uh, I really am not sure what else to say. I mean, this is the Panda City. Uh, Unova MU19 or uh, 19U and that's the key the U is important runs on a slightly different driver than just a straight 19 but it's a 19 inch screen and uh, I think it's great I mean I've streamlined my work by being able to run from uh, a one to one size ratio with my pencils and bringing them in here and then uh, blowing them up inside the program and inking directly from those and it's end up saving me it, it, if it keeps going the way it's going it's going to save me hours and hours of time and yet it's still I don't think I'd be getting as good a quality if I was inking it by hand uh, but that's me because I'm you know admittedly not an inker so I needed something that would sort of bridge the gap between my pencil skills and uh, that fine finished quality of black and white but so if you're thinking of getting one of these highly recommend it I mean from what I've seen and read and, and just my own experience with this I can't imagine that the Cintiq is going to give you enough of a difference in user ability or experience to justify the much higher four times as high price tag that goes with it and uh, you know if I'm wrong about that, I'm wrong, but I, I like I said, I spent $500 on this tool, and uh, it's it's probably the best investment other than the uh, electric eraser that I've made in the last two years. Those are my two favorite things. Ironically, both powered by batteries, but um, yeah, so go check it out. Go find someone who has it. Uh, 
offer to make you know feed me lasagna maybe i'll let you try mine i don't know but i like it it's a great tool and if you're considering getting one you know i i really don't think you'll be disappointed so thanks for watching my review of the panda city 19u tablet monitor